the wilderness first aid training. Here you will learn how to keep yourself and your mates alive when you're out in the back country. Excuse me, what's a back country? Oh. I think it's like when a country has less money than America, there's like three whole worlds of that. Yeah. <laughs> now, no, no, exactly. Um, the back country is what we call the wilderness when you're away from civilization. That's literally what I just said. She said it. Right away. Um, when you're out in the back country, this class is going to teach you some skills for when you're too far away to get to a hospital. So we'll be like wilderness doctors. No, not, not doctors exactly, but you know, just enough skills to help in an emergency. Let's just start with a scenario. Um, could I have a volunteer to be the patient? Oh, I'll do it. Right. I love going to the doctor's office. I like the smell. Me too. <laughs> right. Um, so let's say Jessie and I were just backpacking through the woods and she falls down a ravine. Can you get down on the ground and pretend to be injured? Yeah, I got this. <laughs> help! Help! I fall down a ravine and I can't get up! All right, and, and let's say your arm is bleeding severely. Oh my god, my arm is bleeding. There's blood everywhere. All right, Trixie, Bill, what should you do first? Well, I guess I'd call 911. Hello, 911. My friend's fallen down a ravine. <laughs> yes. This is the back country. There's no service out here. What the hell? I just got the screen replaced. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, uh, so we can't call 911, so we go down and help her. No, first we have to ensure that the area is safe for us. Oh, well, I'm not sure if it is safe because someone might throw your phone. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, so uh, we look around and it's safe? Great. So now we go through the A, B, C, D, E to determine what's wrong with the patient. Okay, but I thought you said my arm was bleeding like a lot. Well, it is, but they don't know that yet. Okay, so the A in A, B, C, D, E stands for airway. You're gonna clear out anything that could be keeping the air from getting through to her lungs. I got this, okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's some gum inside there. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, <laughs> Got it. Fun. Airway's clear. Oh, my God. All right. Great work, Bill. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now that the airway is clear, we go on to B, which stands for breathing. You're going to look, listen, and feel for breathing. Uh, I've got this. Look. <laughs> Listen. And feel. May I? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's breathing. Right, right work, Trixie. Oh. Now we move on to C, which is for consent. consent. <laughs> well, um, it's also for a circulation. Oh, okay. You're going to check to see the, uh, check the patient's pulse by putting your fingers on your neck. Oh, like this! Oh, no, 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 like that, no, no. Gently, with oh. two fingers. Uh, sorry, Jesse. Oh, that's okay, I kind of liked it. <laughs> All right, now we move on to D, which is for disability. You're going to check to see if the patient's spine has an injury or if she has some other kind of disability. Hey, Jesse, uh, do you have a disability? Um. I have dyslexia. Uh, oh god, we, we've already started the ABCDEs. Should we do them in a different order? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Just check to make sure the spine's all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, now we're on to E. We're going to examine for major injuries. Oh my god, my arm has a major injury. Right, now we can begin treatment. Okay, all right. Um, Oh, Jesse, we're gonna get you out of here! Oh, God. We're gonna get you yeah. out of here! Okay, but hurry, because the light, it's painted. Oh, oh, stay God. with us! Oh. Can we calm down a bit? Oh, we're losing her! Oh, God, there's blood everywhere! Oh. Jesse, we, we can't get you out of here. We're gonna have to go on without you. It's okay. <laughs> Just leave me to the wolves. Tell my mother that I love her. Um, oh, God, you're so strong! Oh, no! <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome back to Wilderness First Aid Training. Today you're going to learn how to use a tourniquet. I was in a tourniquet once when I won second place in the Squid Games on Netflix. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's a tournament. Today we're going to use a tourniquet. A tourniquet is, is a when a computer pretends to be a human. Uh, no, that's a touring <laughs> test. A tourniquet <laughs> is a oh, it's like a shelled reptile when it poops. Oh my god, no, no, <laughs> that is a turtle shit. <laughs> A tourniquet is a medical device that you use to stop bleeding in an emergency. Oh, like a camp. Oh. <laughs> so smart. All right, um, <clears throat> let's just uh, imagine a scenario. Can I have a volunteer to be the patient, please? Ah, 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 I got this. I have excellent patience. You do, Bill. You do. <laughs> So, let's say Bill here has injured his arm, and we have to uh, put a tourniquet on it. What oh, we do? Oh, convenient that we have something to fix his arm, but not when mine was bleeding. <laughs> right. So you take the band, you put it around the arm just above where the bleeding is occurring, and then you put a stick in it and you begin to torn it. And as you torn it, it becomes tightened and it stops the blood flow. Oh, so that's why it's called a turbulence. <laughs> now it's a tourniquet. Okay, that's what she said. A tuna fish. No, a tourniquet. <laughs> a tourniquet. Uh, can we loosen the turncoat? My arm's getting okay. numb. <laughs> Wow, so she just like turned and quit, huh? <laughs>